So sometimes uh, game developers may encounter, you know, they they have informal agreements with um, independent contractors, and you know they may say, okay, well this guy's going to get paid in 30 days, and um, but then you know 30 days comes around, and maybe they didn't get paid exactly how they thought they were. What kind of do you have any suggestions for you know how you've dealt with um, you know those informal agreements and converting them into more permanent kind of agreements? Right. So with Fingal, for instance, um, the game was actually long developed, or not, not like completely developed, but it was already far into development when we started our company, so we couldn't really make any legal agreements because there was no, um, no company to make an agreement with. So we also had to make like all the legal agreements almost halfway, even further through the production of Fingal. Well, that of course um, raised a lot of questions. Um, and that was also kind of difficult for, for, for some people and the negotiations were also not really that fun because we or like had, a, had an idea of what was going to happen and how much everyone's got to be paid or something like that. But that of course, unless it's on paper, it's always too, too informal. That, I must say, it wasn't really too much fun doing the negotiations for that. So I, we will never, never, ever do that again. And we will always start with a, a legal uh, agreement. Um, in terms of, you know, this is exactly what you're going to get on this moment uh, with these royalties or you know, stuff like that. So, yeah, we're not, in terms of informal agreements, I don't think we'll ever do that again. No.